The Last Leaf by Oliver Wendell Holmes. I saw him once before as he passed by the door, and again the paving stones resound as he totters his cane. They say that in his prime, ere the pruning knife of time cut him down, not a bend but the crier on his round through the town. But now he walks the streets, and it he looks at all he meet wan. Then he shakes his feeble head, and it seems as if he said, they are gone. The mossy marbles that he has pressed in their bloom, and the names he loved to hear have been carved for many a year on the tomb. And Mama, she has said, poor old lady, she is dead long ago, that he had a Roman nose and his cheek was like a rose in the snow. Now his nose is thin, and it rests upon his chin like a staff, and he has a crooked, melancholy crack in his laugh. I know it is a sin for me to sit and grin at him here. Cornered hat and the breeches and all that are so queer. And if I should live to be the last leaf upon the tree in the spring, let them smile at the old forsaken bough for our cling. Go down, Death. Funeral sermon by James Weldon Johnson. Weep not, she's not dead. She's resting in the bosom of Jesus. Heartbroken husband, grief-stricken son, weep no more. Left lonesome daughter, weep no more. She's only just gone. Day before yesterday morning, God was looking down from his great high heaven. Looking down on all his children, his eye fell on Sister Caroline, tossing on her bed of pain. And God's big heart was touched with pity with everlasting. And God sat back on his throne, and he commanded that tall, bright angel standing at his right hand, Call me death. And that tall, bright angel cried in a voice that broke like a clap of thunder, Call death, call death. And the echoed the streets of heaven till it reached way back, to that shadowy place where death waits with his pale white horses. And death heard the summons, and he leaped on his fastest horse, pale as a sheet in the moonlight. Up the golden street death galloped, and the hoofs of air from the gold, and they didn't make no sound. Up death rode to the great white throne, and waited on God's command. He said, go down, death, go down, go down to Savannah, Georgia, down to Yamacro, and find Sister Caroline. Born the burden and heat of the day. She's labored long in my vineyard, and she's tired. She's weary. Go down, Death. And Death didn't say a word, but he loosed the reins on his pale white horse, and he clamped the spurs to his bloodless sides. Out and down he rode through heaven's pearly gates, past suns and moons and stars. On Death rode and the foam like a comet in the sky. On death row, leaving the lightning's flash behind, straight on down he came. While we were watching, she turned her eyes and looked away. She saw what we couldn't see. She saw old death. She saw old death coming like a fog. But this didn't frighten Sister Caroline. He looked to her like a welcome friend. And she whispered to us, I'm going home. And I'm, she smiled and closed her eyes. And death took her up like a baby. And she lay in his icy arms, no chill. And death began to ride again, up beyond the evening star, out beyond the morning star, in light of glory on to the great white throne. And there he laid Sister Caroline on the loving breast of Jesus. And Jesus ended and wiped away her tears. And he smoothed the furrows from her face, and the angels sang a little song in his arms and kept a saying, Take your rest. Take your rest, take your rest. Weep not, weep not. She's not, she's resting in the bosom of Jesus. A prayer. Oh, Lord, we come this morning, knee and body bowed before thy throne of grace. Oh, Lord, this morning, bow our hearts beneath our knees in some lonesome valley. 
We come this morning like empty pitchers to a full fountain with of our own. Oh, Lord, open up a window of heaven and lean out far over the battlements of glory and listen this morning. Lord, have mercy on proud and dying sinners, sinners hanging over the mouth of hell who seem to love their distant well. Lord, ride by this morning. Mount your milk-white horse and ride her this morning. And in your ride, ride by, ride by the dingy gates of hell and stop poor sinners in their headlong plunge. And now, O oh Lord, this man of God life this morning, shadow him in the hollow of thy hand and keep him out of the gunshot of the devil this morning. Wash him with hyssop inside and out. Hang him up and drain him dry of sin. Pin his ear post and make his words sledgehammers of truth, beating on the iron heart of sin. Lord God, this morning, the telescope of eternity, and let him look upon the paper walls of time. Lord, turpentine is a magical motion in his arms. Fill him full of the dynamite of thy power. Anoint him all over with the oil of thy salvation and set it up. And now, O oh Lord, when I've done drunk my last cup of sorrow, when I've been called everything but a child, when I'm done traveling up the rough side of the mountain, O oh Lord, when I start down this steep and slip, when this old world begins to rock beneath my feet, lower me to my grave in peace. Great getting up morning. Amen. The strife is o'er, now is the victor's triumph won, now be the song of praise begun, hallelujah. The powers of death have Christ their legions hath dispersed, let shouts of joy outburst, hallelujah. That days have quickly sped, he rises glorious from the dead, all glory to our risen head, hallelujah. He bound chains of hell, the bars from heaven's high portals fell. Let hymns of praise his triumph tell. Hallelujah. Lord, by the stripes which wounded thee, from death's dread sting thy servants free, that we may live and sing to the Hallelujah. Hail, thou once despised Jesus, Hail, thou Galilean king, thou didst suffer to release us, thou salvation bring. Hail, thou universal Savior, thou hast borne our sin and shame. By thy merit, our life is given through thy name. Worship, honor, power, and blessing Christ is worthy to receive. Loudest praises meet it is for us to give. Help us. Bright angelic spirits, bring your sweetest, noblest lay to sing our Savior's merits. Help to chant Emmanuel's praise. Amen.